The African Ministerial Conference on Meteorology seeks to increase recognition and resourcing of national meteorological and hydrological services, which play a vital role in sustainable development in Africa. Meteorological services use a variety of methods to make sure that forecasts are accessible to everybody, from decision makers to business leaders and to subsistence farmers. Community radios are actually used today to spread crucial information to and from the inner land. Community radio stations are an efficient and effective way of disseminating forecasts and are being used with great effect in countries such as Kenya. We have uh, many communication channels. We use telephone. We also use the uh, internet. Every day, twice in a day, we send two forecasts to the radio stations. We give them the information in the simplest language, and then they translate that to the local language and disseminate it. We download our information from Kenya Meteorological Services on weather, be it the forecast, the daily forecast, the seasonal forecast, or even the weekly forecast. And then immediately we download that information, we translate it into the local language, in this case for our area is Kikuyu, and air it to the local people. The members of the community, whenever they are calling in at the station, the first question is, tell us who you are, where you are, and how the weather is. So they will give us weather from different locations of the sub-county or of the area of listenership. And then we will air the same weather to, the, to our listeners, wherever they are. This is a very big advantage in that it is instantaneous. It is what is happening at that particular moment when somebody is called. is weather and climate change issues. So we give enough time for weather to our listeners. Investment in meteorological services yields huge dividends and underpins transformative development in Africa. We give them time to ask questions. They also send short messages and we address them. And further, we make a point to, make, to, call, to tell them if they, have, they, listen, they want any further clarification, they can come to the office. We've been able to call together the people with indigenous knowledge on forecast. And one thing that we note is that in the current setup, our lifestyle, some of the things that they used to observe, maybe trees or even birds moving, have become extinct due to climate change. And that's why all the more reason why we need now to sit back and look at what we can use today using the scientific and what is now available. The most important part why we started running it was basically to address our early warning system because 80% of the disasters or natural hazards here are weather related and therefore we need to inform people on that. We have now five radio stations which are broadcasting and it has become very popular. We have 47 counties in this country. Each and every county wants to have its own run it. And the way we are seeing it is rather than just now 30 kilometers, it will have to go to cover an entire county which means probably about 50 to 100 kilometers radius. So we may have to change the mode, the way we have been doing it to cover a bigger area and involve more resources to be even more elaborate. The key issue on, on the net and why I can say that it is a success is that the weather information that is relayed to the community by members of staff, the journalists who are trained on meteorology, speaking a language that the local people understand because they are recruited from the local people themselves.
We love Kangema FM in many ways, like they tell us when it will be sunny so that we can clean our clothes and also prepare our farms. They also tell us about the prices of the commodities in the market during market days. Lastly, it unites us as a society.